So before this video starts, guys, yes, I'm wearing a hat. I got sent this hat from G Fuel, so I'm proud to wear it, and I paid a lot for this headset. I love this headset, so I like to put it here. A lot of you guys were saying, like, why are you wearing a headset? Why are you wearing a hat? But this is how I like to rock my videos. So, but today, guys, I wanted to talk about the Ultra Boost 3.0s and running. Now, I recently made a video about the biggest problem with Ultra, Bo Ultra Boost 3.0. Now, I guess it's not the biggest problem. It's more of some tips when you're buying the Ultra Boost. But I've been using these for one week so far. For one week, um, every single day, for about two hours every single day for running and exercise. And I have to tell you guys... These are indeed one of the most comfortable shoes uh, for casual use and running. Now, I do have some problems with these, and that's why I'm making this video for running. So when I start to run, my feet almost like, if you guys can see that, come over the, the midsole, just like that. They come over when I go in those tight corners on the track. And I think it's because Adidas is starting to make this a little bit too comfortable and too loose um, because I think this prime knit is almost a little bit too loose and they're starting to really turn the ultra boost into a more of a casual shoe so is that a bad thing I mean if you're getting the shoe solely for running kind of because it's not gonna it's gonna be comfortable but it's not going to support keeping your foot in very well like as you guys can see this shoe is look look at that it's like it's so comfortable so loose that it's not going to support your shoe when you're really sprinting and going around those tight corners on the track but i really wanted to make this video wanted to talk about wanted to get it out to you guys and i should have some videos soon on the yeezy boost 350 v2s because i am going to be getting a pair of those they're going to be uas so they're not 100 percent authentic because I don't have six, seven hundred bucks to blow, but I really want a good pair of UA um, Yeezys. So maybe it might be because my feet are super wide. That could be the reason, because my feet are super wide, and um, that's probably why this is happening. But if you guys have any Ultra Boost 3.0s and you run with them, let me know in the comment section below. But right now, I feel like they're kind of losing the support um, with the Ultra Boost 3.0s and how much they support your foot in the upper part of the shoe when you're running but i really do feel like they're really moving the shoe towards the more of a casual feel to it so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy um i have to say if you guys want any information on the ultra boost 3.0 let me know any video ideas for shoes i love shoes i really really do love shoes and I'm probably going to be doing a lot more shoe videos on my channel soon. Definitely going to be trying to get some Yeezys because that would just make my life complete. I really, really want a pair of those. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to shock the like button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Any questions, leave them below and I will make sure to answer them. Peace out, guys.